So we're here in the SeaTech trial site. It's the 20th of April. I'm here with Dennis Dunn, the trials manager. Dennis, tell us, what are you doing with this blue paint on the plots? Yeah, so we came out here last week and we sprayed our growth regulator and our trace elements. So when I was spraying it, I sprayed blue on the plot to show our timings that when we're going through the season now and spraying for a potential open day, that we can see our spray timings. Very good, it's very visual. It's like the Smurfs blue. Um, I suppose, look, this is a, a plot of Graham winter wheat. Graham has a six for Septoria, has a seven for yellow rust. It's a good solid variety. I suppose the important thing about it is for winter wheat in Ireland is to get your time into the T1 right. Um, this was sprayed six days ago, and you can see when it was sprayed, the third last leaf got a touch of spray at that point. And since then, it's actually after moving up quite a bit. And when that third last leaf is, is fully out, then we're going to apply the T1, which will be kind of next Tuesday or Wednesday. And that will be our typical timing for our T1. So what we're doing is we're using the plant's genetics to get us until then. That's why it's important to have a good variety like Graham. And secondly, then we're using a small bit of, of our own, you know, ingenuity to make sure that we get our timings right and to show us where we're applying the fungicides. I suppose the last thing to remember, that leaf day or the third last leaf is about 10% of yield. The fourth last leaf, which has got all that spray kind of last week that's about three or four percent yield so it's very important to remember that in terms of leaf yield formation that the third last leaf is a hell of a lot more important than the fourth